one is Mechila for Rabbi Yosef Yafi. My mamish did not know he was trying to get a hold of me. And I want to thank Torah anytime, Akavish Kachapratis, and Kala Lashon. I want to thank the Rabbi Shalom himself for the delicious, the most wonderful L I ever had in my life. Is this L? I want to tell you one big you say. No matter what you're going to do, I have a, they're going to ask me questions soon. What's L? I, I see it coming. They're coming at me. What is it? Yera, Betachen, what do we do here? And so we'll come in all languages, they're out my case. Now I say like this, whatever you did, Paskin, it was great. But it wasn't, it, it could have been, and I, I wasn't really sure myself, but whatever you happened to do, it was Gewaldic. It's the best L ever. And I want to tell you something person has no idea what's Hashem in Shemayim. You don't know. Now I don't want, Chas I don't want to encourage people to do the wrong thing. But there are people who are doing things wrong. And they're having the worst you read they ever had. And in Shemayim they're high, sky high. It's exactly the finest hour. They're at the top of the glory. You have no idea what's going on in Shemayim. You have no idea what's chashiv, what they consider good, what you think is good, what they... You, you. First of all, I'll tell you a simple thing. So therefore, if you go ahead and you respect whatever happened, Hashem likes that right away. Because it's not easy to do that. So right away, it's, you're doing the right thing. Because the nature of a person is to, is to get all stressed out. If the stress makes you a better person, that's a different story. But in this day and age especially, the stress is Satan himself. Every inch of it. And if you got a lot of that stuff, say thank you, Rabbeinu Shalom. The stress is machapa, everything. Whoever has stress these days, ain't a right but they get him. Whoever has anxiety and Panic attacks, all that stuff. Depression, great news. Enjoy. The best guys in the world are those who are going around all day. What should I do with L? How do I do with L? What's L? What are you supposed to do? Those guys are the best, especially the ones who never get an answer. They are in Shemayim. I want to tell you, I once saw this impressive one said, the Alta of Nevada speaks similar. How do you feel? You have two kids. One kid doing everything what he's supposed to be doing. He's a winner. Ah, And everyone raised over him. He dominates, he learns, he does all the good moves. And there's another kid who comes over to you and he says, Ta, I'm trying. I hope I'm doing it right. I'm concerned. And he's all messed up between you and me. He's not really too great. But just listen to him when he tells you, I'm not really doing, I hope I'm doing it right. You are overwhelmed with compassion for that little booby. You're ready to eat him up and give him everything. Because he's a sweetie pie who never, he's a never. So therefore, we're going to be giving out medals. The never of the year award. Who could be the biggest never? The dar is dar never. Let's face reality. All the never incorporated. This is the Nebuch Elul. It's, uh, oh, that's Elul. That's Elul. Do you know what Elul is supposed to be? Those guys, the, all those Nebuch club, they are in for good news. You don't know what's big in Shemayim. I can guarantee you it's not good news. I can guarantee you. As long as you're holding on, as long as you're trying and quetching and wishing and trying, and it's not going, we, we hope, and soon, that is Gan Eden Atacht, and don't be impressed with all that, all the Yetzirah, trying to get you depressed, trying to get you to say, hey, you didn't, you're not going to make it, Bubby, that's, that's his job, he's trying to make, make trouble, don't listen to a word he says, and by the way, better news, the more you get at that stuff, the better you are. Because the W do it. I see them say this. 
You have a cartload of Zevel fertilizer. They got over them, I'm going to jump to get some fertilizer. They don't get too carried away. Go keep it. It's cheap garbage. Who wants it? But if you have a cartload of gold, they're going to kill you. I want some. And they'll make you a sugar. If you're one of those people that it ain't going so good, you have a cartload of gold. I heard this from this villain Ebba. That's all. Any person who has a lot of these issues and it's not going, you would try. You are the gold mine. They're picking on you for a reason. You have the holiest soul in town. Be happy. You have the best elder that ever lived. You're lucky. You should thank Hashem for all the pain. First of all, this thing about pain, people don't hop, they're out. The mamish don't hop anything about the truth. I want to tell you something. Amalek is out for the Nebuch. All the Nebuchs, they say it's in Ruchnius. The guys, Chevedon, you know the Shevatim that were, mm, they couldn't make it into the, into the Anon. You know, they were, they were kicked out. They weren't quite so, and Amalek goes after them. And Hashem don't like that. You're starting up with all the Nebuchs, huh? You know what Rav Shamsha says about them? They're afraid of people. The Amalekim. Why did he pick on the big guys? Ha ha. You're afraid of them. You know, the Jews will wipe the flow at you guys. You go after the next Shalom. Shamsha says that. So they're going after the next Shalom. It shows you're, you're weakling. You're chicken. You're afraid to face head on. Go to war, big shot. You're not, you're not tough. By the way, I know. You can get the book, Go My Son. I know him, Chaim Shapiro. What? He spoke about my mother, so I ain't had him speak my mother. Yeah. Beautiful. He's a sweetie, you know? So he told me, I mean, I met him. And he, you know, you're behind her. So he, in his book, he speaks about, he tried, the Germans wiped out his whole family. He lived in Lumja. And at the end of the war, he decided, I'm joining the Russians. He was, a, he was the head of a tank. His pictures of him. What he, the commander, what did he call the guy? That, I'm in charge of this tank. He's got a whole crew under him. Anyway, he was in the tank. And he watched those Germans running for their lives. They were such, they would kiss your feet. They were lowlifes. They weren't soldiers. Uh-uh. While they're, uh, while they're on top, they're big shots. Things go a little bad, though, where they... First of all, one of the things, if I'm not mistaken, you know, when they're retreating, your comrade falls, the minig of soldiers is, pick him up. Give, help the poor guy, he's falling. Not with them. Oh, no. Every man for himself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gottfried. I have to take care of myself right now. That's a German. You know what Hitler and Machimay did? We took 100,000 children who were retarded, who were mentally not so great, and physically not 100%, of his own, I'm talking, I'm talking about a concentration camp, his own German kids. He took them and he wiped them out. One, well over 100,000, that's what I... What? He did that, yeah? He, knew the he always did that. No, way from the beginning. Right from day one. He said, I have a new republic now. We got to have good people here. These guys are not, they're waste. They're, they're like, we don't want those guys. They're not, they're not, get rid of them. And he, 100,000 children. By the way, there's a picture of Hitler and Machimoy with two Aryan-looking boys, blondies. They look like they're going to faint standing next to him. They say kids hated him. I don't think he tried. He, he, was, he never had kids. He never got married. He was an animal. And I have this whole thing about Germans. Amalek likes destructiveness. Rabbi Nehir says, and we like productive. Productive means late building, 
building a home. Pro revo. That's us. He was very into the Germans. It says this in the Rashi says that they shepherd with with that sugya, the Germans, because they they're destructive. That's the whole Matthias. Their fun in life is destroyed. I met a German on a plane years ago. Twice. I met. I was going. There was a stop in Frankfurt, and I'm walking back and forth. There's Germans looking at me. You watch the way I'm going back and forth. He was like curious. Young fellow, 20 year old guy. And finally, he can't hold out, and he's sit next to me. He had to talk to me. He started telling me how much he loves Israel. Oh, that's so interesting. <laughs> and he starts telling me why. Because they fight. They know how to fight. The plane dropped the bomb and they killed. I like that. They're good fighters. They know how to fight. And God is on their side. First of all, Rabbi Shamshavul Hirsch says, that is a German. That is a Malik. They love fighting, even if it's the enemy. As long as you're fighting a war, kill each other. They love that. Except when it's them. Then it's a little different. You know what happened to them when the war was over? Every major German city was leveled. You know that? Berlin looked like a parking lot. They got what they deserve. A friend of mine visited Germany. I'm going back 25 years ago. He says there's nobody there. It looks like they just had a war. That's what he told me. That was his perception. I don't know what's going on exactly. All right. Anyway. But they like destruction. That's the difference, folks. And we like produce. That's why marriage is so important by us. Having children is important by us. That's why Yaakov and Rabbi Inher says 40 years to get his wives to build a family. That's the importance of a wife by a Jew. You know what a wife is by an Arab? You know how Arabs get divorced? This is how it goes. You know, you know how Cain gets divorced by us? It'll take him a year to get divorced. Whoever learned Perry get kosher? You ever learn it? What are you supposed to do? A Cain, we're afraid he's doing it too fast. Well, he has to fold it how many times and sew it? What does he have to to, to make sure you sure you know what you're doing, hold it. Uh, you got it's going to cost you big bucks too. You don't divorce a Jewish lady. You got a whole process. What an Arab? Fatima, out. It's done. It's a done deal. Sadat, Sadat's wife adored him. She had pictures of him. He dumped her. Why did he dump her? Because he became. Was it Sadat? I think it was Sadat. The Egyptian leader. He dumped his wife. Why? Because he became for the public. He became a president. And he has to meet all these presidents with their fancy ladies. And he decided, you know, rate out. So he married a new one. I say that's why he was assassinated. Why was he picked to get assassinated from all the Egyptians? Why, why? NASA was worse, I would say. No, NASA was a Russian. They all held their own. Kim Taran, Machtachimish. They're all there to show him. Now, but he, because you do sing like that to your wife, dump her in the garbage can. I mean, that's the mentality. A wife, marriage, children. Jews build. That's why Taira is so important. Taira is building. When you say Chedisha Taira, the world is standing. Build. Become great. Steig. Grow. Become something. Have a whole schmooze. I'm not going to say it over. It's beautiful. Anybody who's in shul heard me? You heard? It's not shy. But I will spare you that because after my whole long schmooze, the guy says, Mandel, can we have a story? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> so if anybody wants to hear the schmooze later, I'll tell you. It's a bomb. I'm going to prove to you how all Egla Rufa is. Why does Rashi say, you didn't let the man have Paris? You killed a person. That, no, no, no. Killing a person is not the problem. The problem is the person can't produce anymore since he's dead. The whole life of, it's a Rashi. And he types that Rashi. The life of a person is produce, accomplish, grow. You want to grow? I'll tell you how to grow. You want to stay? Sit down all day, say, I'm thankful exactly the way it is. You're growing plenty. Yeah, I got a choice. You got a choice. You're going to finish Shas this year? And you're going to be a little nervous? Now, I'm not going to say which group this happened to. First, 
You're not going to like this, or maybe you will. I heard from a dying. Guess who? Never, you never see him in the courtrooms, in the Din Tyra. All the guys that sleep till 12 o'clock. You ever see these guys rolling in Satma? Oh, you just woke up? I, I'm a little, I'd like, Bain Azmanim. I usually, I better get up early. I got to teach. But once in a while, it's one of those days where I'm late. And I rolled in like, so I saw these 1130 Nickus all over the place. So I got up in front of the whole island. There's a hundred Satma guys. Not Satma, Lakewood guys. Everyone's in there. Kipzara, Machzachaymich, Kipzara. You know what I did? In front of everybody, I got up. I said, what are you guys doing here so early? <laughs> it's only 12 o'clock. Why just sleep some more? Come on. Go home. The guys are on the floor. <laughs> you know what else I did over there? This I said it last time. Everybody knows that joke. I come in there. I did it twice. I come in there. I finished davening a satma. The like with satma, you know. When I finished davening, I said, I, I'm a loudmouth, by the way, just in case you don't know. If you haven't figured that out, I'm one of those. When I talk, I'll, I make sure I have an audience, you know. I'm not working on another, as you can tell, you can see. I'm not in that sugya. You could work on it, but I'm not. I have my own way of doing things. And I get up there in front of the whole Saba Elam, and I say, Where's in Yiddish? You know, I speak. Anybody know Yiddish around here? It's not a bad thing to know. Ni, viz the Lachaim, viz the Vodka, was teacher do. I said this before on the whole place. What? Ni, was teacher. There's no Lakech, there's no Brumpen, there's no. What's with you guys? I said, and I was screaming. And the whole place is on the floor. I says, Baal Shem HaKudosh will be turning in his grave. See, yeah, you don't make up Salachayim after davening. What's, what's going on here? And I said, I know what happened to you. They're all looking to me. The Litvikis ruined you. These liquid Litvikis, they messed you up. And I did it once. Oh, look, two years ago, whatever. Recently, I did it again. <laughs> and the rub, the rub was there. So I don't stand, you know, I'm friends with everybody. The Rav is, I'm God, very, I love him. The Rav and me are best friends. So the Rav has got all, like, is everything okay? <laughs> he got, he got on the tumult. So I went over to him and I says, Echmachavitz. He says, I'm making a joke, that's all. Take it, it's going to be all right. I'm like, you should know if you notice, 90% of my jokes I end up saying, I got to play safe in this world. <laughs> you never know when they'll think, do you know what Mandel said? <laughs> if you don't hop that I happen to make a lot of jokes, then we, I might be in a lot of trouble. Anyway, so where am I up to? It's hello. You have to do chuva. You didn't make enough jokes. No. Salah. Make it. On Yom Kippur. Make sure. When you have a whole list of all your sins, on top of the list. Oh, I didn't make enough jokes. I could have made a joke and I could have made. Oh, oh, and Mandel is going to be upset with me. I didn't need enough ice cream. No. Three years ago, my official truva for that year was not enough ice cream. You know how many people I met from Eric Stroll? I met him years later, Mandel, they start smiling. He says, what are you laughing at me for? Because of you, you got to see my freezer stacked with ice cream. Because of you. <laughs> they listen to me. The <laughs> More ice cream. You hear what I'm saying? No. How much ice cream did you eat this year? Then my husband. You're coming to the next world. How are they going to ask you someday? No. Why did you eat ice cream? What's going on here? By the way, you think I'm not, you know what? The, probably the second or biggest rub in Lakewood told me, I don't want to say his name. I've said it plenty. Everybody knows who I mean. But I won't say it in public all the time. I don't know if he did. He came over to me. He said, he's my big chassid. He reads all my stuff. He knows me good. He says, Mandel, you're totally modern. You're new. You have new stuff. And you're totally hooked on with the past. You're one of them. So it's a it's a pella, you know. I made a, 
that you're, you're totally different, but you're totally, that's the way it's supposed to be, according to the Freya Dika. I'll give you a simple. The ultimate Vatic says, everybody got to go against his nature. If, you're, if your nature is to be a nobody, you got to go extreme gaiva. Alpha from the Vatic says it. No. Or when I say, I believe in being depressed. Because if you're going to worry about Simcha so much, then you really get depressed. So you are going to be depressed anyway. I don't care how much you're working on Simcha. I go to certain shtibbles, places that are famous for Simcha. I take a look at them. And not everybody's making it. <laughs> there might be one or two guys, by nature, they're probably born like that a little. And they're probably more depressed than everyone else. They just look more for Simcha. I've met 10 different young light, at least, who, you know, some people are always smiling. Dave told me, you can't tell I'm depressed. No, look at yourself. You look like a smiling guy. Everyone's, everyone's jealous of you. You don't hop I'm on a medication for depression. No, I didn't hop. You know, remember this, you always know, said, I heard him say it. He said, let's face it, we're all depressed. I heard him say this 20 years ago in his house, Friday night. Let's face it, we're all depressed. And if we're not depressed yet, we're going to get there soon. No. <laughs> let's face it. So I say, so one of my big things is be happily depressed. What's a schlecht? Baruch Hashem, a panic attacks. That's Gavaldi. Panic attacks, depression, nevais. That's great. Ain't a royal plague ahead him. You shoot him. I got to tell you, my thing about now. Rabbi say, the Velt does not appreciate you shoot him. Bechalal. Vayad Hashem ki snua leya. Whole Klai is built on the busyness of the Mamalaya. Ask anybody, well, who, what built Lakewood? The busyness of Rabbi and Cutler. There are a lot of daily terror all over. They didn't build much. Where Byron got busyness for Klai Israel, busyness, nothing better. It's a great thing. You get busyness. That's why David Amalek, David Amalek, when he was, um, Shem Ben was cursing him. And calling him a mamza. How, how'd you like that? How would you, how would you enjoy if you're called a mamza in public? But you know what's joking? You are illegitimate. You know, you're not kosher. That's what he was saying in public. Shimon Megeda, Rosh Edrin, throwing rocks at him. Naif, he married a nation's ish. We all know about you and Bathsheba. Rosh and you go and you kill the husband. He said that he was a Roshan Edrin, a man of distinction, throwing rocks at him. And what did David say? And they wanted to kill him. David said, well, stop. David was an Avadiga. He was one of us. David was our Eilam. He laughed at him. He says, let him curse me. Now my son, Avshalom, won't kill me. Which is that. Right afterwards, he started winning. Everybody knows the story. And he became fourth regular Hashem Kava. You know why he was, it was so smooth with him? Hashem Amalekal? I like that stuff. It's going to be good. His Bobby, the Mamalaya, he learned it from her. You think he didn't learn Chumash, David Amalek? You don't think he learned Chumash? Vayar Hashem Kishnua Leah Vayiftach Ezrachma. Hashem Zoda Leah Snua. Now you're going to get six Shmatim. Snua. Not because she Davin, says the Alduin Kelm. Not because you're a Tzadikah, says the Alduin Kelm. Because you had, you sued him. Because you Nebuch. The Nebuchs take over the world. Be a happy Nebuch. So David said, now I have an opportunity to be a Nebuch. This is delicious. It's Givaldi. You know what's happened to me? Kim Tzara, Mach Tzachemish. Mach Tzachemish. Eibanun is due. Elijah Craig. Woo. Leo Navi. Sounds good. Small batch. Sounds good. Let's go. You got the right place. Anyway, I once had big busyness many years ago when I was just starting my shtibel. I always came in on time. Shachras, Shabbos morning, I'm on time. No kidding around. I come on time. And I apologize because the Rebbe is not supposed to come on time. A Rebbe is supposed to come at least a few hours late when the Olam is about the Chalash. Oh, 
Then Kip, well, half the guys are fainting, half the guys are about to throw in the, then he, then he pops up. That's a Rebbe. That's the way he's supposed to do it. And I come on time, what kind of Rebbe are you? Sishke Rebbe, so whenever I came on time, I always came on time, and I apologize. Please be Michael me, I'm not acting like a real Rebbe. Okay, but well, one day, I came super late. It's a true story. Came super late. Come down, come in. Right here. Come in. Max Plotz, there's room for everybody. There was... I need company. So, so the, the, um, I came super late. So this guy opened up his mouth in front of my whole island. Now you walk in. I never came in so late since the day I was born. It was a record coming late. And I'm always on time. Now I come late. First of all, usually I sit in the back of my steeple. For the occasion of being late, I went all the way to the front. I'm late? Oh, I didn't come in late like this. I hope nobody saw us. No, I went all the way up front. And there the guy sees me and he says, now you come in, the whole Oilam heard it. Anyway, <laughs> what do you do <laughs> with that you get? So they asked me later on, I had a whole vod, Mandel, how'd you deal with this? So I says, you know what I did with it? Uh, first of all, I don't know what you guys think of Bazianus by me. It's a kapora. I got Bazianus. It's got aid not Dachpin. And in front of everybody, I didn't grant I didn't think they all heard it. But they all heard it. <laughs> Maybe she did me a favor, make sure more people to hear it, more Tikkun. You know, now I'm really gonna be good. So first of all, Bazianus is a kapora. So that's great. And I was chazering, don't worry, I'm human. I'm still not a malach, almost, but I'm getting there. But any, so, so first I said, um, first I said, um, thank you so much for being generous. Now listen closely. Hey, look, Yenachem is Gamzu said, Gamzu Latoiva, Zu is a Vav, a Vav is a Mahapach, extreme opposite. I'm going to be getting the extreme covered pretty soon. I, I, bemis, I hold like that. Whenever something bad happens, but wow, I'm so okay, the bad is a hakdama to something. That's the way I see things, and it always happens. You can do the same thing. If you see it like, go ahead. You like the kvetch, you like feel sorry for yourself. I have bizarreness. Okay, you want to do that. So first, I say, thank for the year. Second, I say, which means I'm getting just the opposite. And three, I say, do I really care what people think? Does that make a difference? I don't hold from Mandel. Oh, that's so, I didn't know that. That's so nice. Yeah, I don't hold. He's not, he's not. Mandel, I used to think, but now, no good. I hold more from, the, the best part of it is they say, that hold more from your, the guy that's supposed to be a competitor. He, he's, Mandel, Grada, I have a, <laughs> I told you what happened. First day of school, I told you to myself. And not at orientation. Um, in orientation, a lady gets up. The, all, the, all, they all come in there. The parents, young people, all old enough to be my eight o'clock. And I have to give orientation. I was, I'm nervous with all the parents come in. New Rebbe, and I have to, well, this year we're going to teach this, that, and I shut up on the board, we're going to learn this and learn that. And every year we get nervous all over again. What should I say? What should I We say the same. What should I And all the parents are, I'm scared of them, they're scared of me. It's a deal. Come on, part of our part of I'm scared of you, scared of me. I'm scared of you, I'm scared of me. I'm like afraid of the parents. Between you, the, the men, they'll, they're a little more friendly with me. They're younger than me also. The ladies, forget it. They're petrified. That's Rabbi Mandel. Especially now, after I'm so famous, they're not going to open their mouths. I'm having no trouble from them because they're so scared of me. So they all sit there like Nebuch. But there was one, one lady who was 
Yeah, it's a kulam, you know. Neidl's chak kulam. You ever hear one of those? She was kanaina hara. She got the mole. You know, she had a mouth. One of those. Rabbi Mandel! <laughs> in, front of, in front of everybody. You are always saying that your prayers are always answered. When you daven, Hashem always helps it. I've been davening for months to get the other Rebbe, not you. <laughs> How come I'm stuck with you? In front of everybody. Is that a delicious story? Is that a great story? Is that delicious? Is that great? Do you believe it? <laughs> There's a truth. Part of it is true. But I, had a bit, I juiced it up a lot. You have to understand. What really happened, what I said happened, no, that's, uh, we're not getting involved in that. <laughs> but that's a, is that a good story? I wanted the other Rebbe so much. He's a top Rebbe. He knows how to teach. Oh, that's so nice. And he does this right. Oh, uh -huh. and he does that right. That's good. I want to tell you something. If a person has betachin in Hashem, he lifts at the world. Way back, I was in a different yeshiva, going back many, many years ago. And I am an open book. You're not supposed to tell the manile you're dirt, you're dirt. When something goes wrong with parents, you keep quiet. Don't let the manile find out. You know, it just, just happened. A parent came in, cursed me to the ground. The manile told me about this, cursed me to the ground. Now, which doesn't happen to me. It wasn't that bad. I, I have to make it cursed to the ground. Uh, and I just, and the manal comes over to me. And uh, how's this class going? Very good, except for that kid. Oh, yeah, you had trouble with the parent. That parent came over to me and said, you're the best Rebbe in the world. Oh, really? <laughs> That's not what they told me. <laughs> That's funny, funny world. <laughs> so I says, look. As long as they tell you, speak to you like that, let them see what they want to me, it's a deal. <laughs> anyway, but I once had a true story. I honestly do not get complaints. Rarely. I don't know if I'm that great. Could be they're afraid of me, or I'm always saying how good everybody is. So they say, all right, yeah, we'll play the same game. <laughs> good, you're good, the kid's good. Yeah, always oh, that thing. this kid, they want to throw him out of the school, and he doesn't, and oh, he's a great kid, he's gewalding, that's me, I don't care. That's the way I work, Rabbi Miller was like that. So one day, I really got into trouble. I really, the one parent, Lash Middle Harik, was really, oh, uh, not Sashaya. They were against me. Mandel, no good. I went straight to the principal's office. Shut your mouth. You have to tell them you're, you're being, you're hired. You, you need to tell them you're dirt. That's to keep it out. Keep it. Shh. I went straight over to the manile. And I said that this parent is telling the whole world what a terrible guy I am. This, this parent called up this, well, my rabbeim, this parent called. You know that? My rebbe from Belgium, my rebbe from Eretz Yisrael. My rebbe, they called him up. That's your Talmud. He's no good. We don't like him as a rebbe. Tell the whole world. So I, um, I went over to the manal, and I said, I, no, I, I just said, you know, this parent is complaining. That parent's complaining? Who did they call up? So-and-so? Give me the number. I'm calling them up. That number? This Rosh Hashiva called? Okay. I'm calling all four of your rabbeim that they, Bashavitz, and tell them that you're the best rabbi that ever lived. That parent does a take them and sugar. Now, punk that parent. The, 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 man, the manal did not like and by telling that I'm having trouble he became my best friend he wasn't my friend till then but now we have a common enemy <laughs> <laughs> I promise it's a true story so instead of getting what did you he became my best friend thanks to that story isn't that something I couldn't have done better he was ever so nice to me then, oh you're also having trouble it's, we're best friends, that's something. I have betochen, I'm baisai, betochen in the yebishter. I'm a little bit, I don't advise people to do what I do. Don't do it. 
But I do things that I don't, I'm not so, not so worried about what people, by the way, guess what happened to me? The time that the guy was mavazing me. I'm, I don't get business between you and me. I, I don't get complaints, honestly. I get COVID till Shemayim. It's not coming out of my ears every single day. People call me up just to say thank you. I just got to have a guy. I just, did I erase them? Just, I erased them all? I was trying to get them all off. I had 34 messages. It's over. But uh, this guy, one after another. You saved this guy, saved that because of you. Get one of my latest Memphis. They had a computer that broke. And they spent weeks trying to fix it. And right after my bracha, boom, the computer started working. So I could even marapa zain a computer. <laughs> I deal with a chefza. I could be marapa at the abish there, leave it to him. Anyway, so what was I talking about? So, now, what happened to me when I, they were mavaza me? This guy said in front of everybody, uh, now you come so late. <laughs> My whole chevra, I got covered malachim from that. You know that Navardi does things that are a little bit as I, and I, by nature, am a little bit, mm hmm. You know, since I'm a kid, I used to get a lot of bazianus. Ah, oh, did, did you put your foot on, shoes on straight, the right on the left? I'm not that bad, but did you, oh, here he goes again. So now I still make mistakes. But now, whenever I make a mistake, oh, it's a prat. You're doing that outside the alts Navardic, alts to be mavazi yourself. Wait, no, it's Nebuch, that's me. No, 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 no. <laughs> we know the truth. You're doing it to work. Navidus Hashem. No, it's Rachman Azami. No, don't do that. We know the truth. You're doing it. So now I make mistakes till Mashiach. <laughs> and they, I get covered below him, I promise you. This particular, you can't, uh, Rabbi Yosef, I have a seat for you up front. Don't sit in the back. No another by me. We don't work on another. No another business. You know where Rabbi Yosef is? He's, without Rabbi Yosef, I'd be in hot soup. No, 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 it's okay. You, bring him in, Rabbi Yosef. See, we're getting you. The only person that Kolaberech Array the Fahar covet. If you run after COVID, COVID runs away from you. That many people had no trouble with that chazal until they met me. As soon as they saw me, they said, it doesn't make sense. You're running after COVID and you're getting it. it I'm a kash. They're writing a lot of svarim on how to figure out how come my mandal doesn't work, that chazal. It's a, it's a good kash, you know? Anyway. But I did get uh, busyness from this guy, and the whole oilam, I don't sit up front in my shul, but just the day that I came super late, I made sure to come right up front so everyone should see. By the way, it's official. I'm good and late. See? Hi. So, so everyone should see that I'm late. So they all, ah, oh, I, I didn't remember why I did it, but they know now, a Kaddish Vitoir. Mandel is such a high Mandarega. I want you to know, all David Amelch had tremendous amount of enemies. It's um, abnormal. His life was enemy, enemy, enemy. Now, Amelch has to be higher. You hate me? That's so interesting. That's nice to hear. Oh, you also don't think I'm... You know what David had to go through? They held he wasn't Eiskehal. With Basheva, a scandal. They didn't tell him it's full of it. They're accusing me that I'm a bum, I'm a Ritzeach. They're saying things about me. What he had from Shoal and from his parents, his family, family problems, Rabbi Sai, anybody with family problems, take a look at David. Nobody has his problems where his brothers want him eaten up by a lion and a bear. They put him in a place that that's what should happen. If he would be, if you'd have a David's problem, you'd be sitting a therapist, tell psychologist be working with you, Lynette. So why is David the man for Chubala? David Hashem Ayri Vishi. 
David was married to Yachid. And David is Chuvah is now, and that's what we say, Le David. The only capital doesn't even say Mizma Le David. Or David Mizma, just Le David. Because that's Abayd the Sazman, go to David. And he'll tell you what to do. First of all, when you look at David, you're going to be happy. Because David, and any person that's fetching that he has problems, take a look at David. Nobody has more than him. How much longer do I have to go before? I, three more minutes? Good. I'm ready to, I already had enough. The, the other one's going to want stories. By the way, as soon as I finish my VOD, I'm going to remember top stories that went over my head. I, end up, I once prepared a whole thing of juicy stuff. I ended up saying everything but that. You know, the Abish is in charge. Anyway, so David HaMelech. Zakta Heliger Chavetz Chaim. David HaMelech had time to learn. He was busy. Acha Sha'alti Mei Sashem. Shifti I'm asking for Taita. You're learning? You're trying to learn. You're in. Spend the whole El. I want to learn Abishta. I want to learn. Help me. I want to. He'll love you. You're going to make it. You're a Lev Nishbar. State in the Chavis Alvavis that this Sadiq told his Tamidim, I'm happy you're doing Averis. Because if you wouldn't be doing Averis, you'd have worse problems. You'd have Gaiva. That's why all the guys that wake up 12 o'clock are going to bring Mashiach because none of them are in Din Tairis. And the guys who are very, very, I don't want to say, very on time. And I'm not say what, because I don't want to cause a rifian. I myself used to do a certain chumrah. They quote, whoever knows, knows. Rabbi Shul Yanke Fisher, they say, said, those people are din tires all over the place. It doesn't mean you should stop doing that, but you don't know who's chashiv. Maybe, don't you dare sleep late. Better do the other thing, but don't be nervous. You know? Like the guy I had on the phone. He sounded very high strung and his kids are all messed up and his wife is getting sick and the way he talked I says I don't like your bedikas comments and he says I says how long does it take how did you guess it takes me eight hours I says that's why you have so much sorrows eight hours bedikas comments you should spend eight hours work learning shabbat talking to relax and be nice and be warm and be friendly and, and eat ice cream for heaven's sake Busy, you kill everybody because you're so nervous. Anyway, we go. But everybody, listen, some people are not going to change anyway. 